right, guys, in this part of the series, I'm just going to show you the tools that you're going to need to start off your transition and things like that. Well, the first thing is white tooth comb. You don't want to use combs with little teeth to rake through your hair and your new growth because you're just going to end up ripping out your hair, breaking over your hair, and causing major breakage that you don't need. Also, you just want to comb your hair when it has conditioner in it. That's the only time you really want to comb your hair or when it's damp. So yeah, why to comb? Got these from the beauty supply store. They're only a dollar. I like this is my most favorite and if you can see the teeth are pretty much the same width as the white tooth comb. So yeah, this is considered a white tooth comb. Next thing you're gonna need are clips. Now, for the first year I was transitioning, I did not use clips. But this makes everything much easier, especially when you're sectioning your hair, you're styling your hair, things like that. It just keeps the hair out the way. And I don't know why I didn't use these sooner. You can find these at a beauty supply store also. They're about a dollar or nine, depending how much comes in a pack. But yeah. You need gonna need some clips. Also, you're gonna need you a scarf and particularly satin or silk. This right here is a silk scarf. Now, why you need satin or silk? Because this doesn't draw doesn't draw out the moisture out your hair like a, a regular cotton pillowcase would. Like this is very smooth, very slick, and your hair won't catch on to this. And it just keeps the moisture in your hair, unlike cotton. You can also get a, a satin, they have these satin bonnets. This is extremely stretched out because I try to fit my washing goes in here and yeah. But you can get a bonnet, also a scarf. But my most favorite, my favorite is, I'll show you right now, is a satin pillowcase. Now, growing up, you know, a lot of people, a lot of girls are taught, you know, to wear their scarves to bed. But I was the type of person that, even after I got my hair done, I wouldn't wear a scarf to bed. I would just go to sleep like that. So, I'm not used to putting on a scarf. So, and not only that, sometimes, say, if you get, like, a satin scarf, it comes off at night. Especially if you're a wild sleeper. I'm not a wild sleeper, but I'm just not used to wearing scarves to bed. So this was a very good solution. Just it's made of the same material as the um the satin bonnet or the satin scarf. No need to you know worry about putting your scarf on, especially if you're real tired. You don't want to look for your scarf. You're just ready to go to bed. This is a great solution. I found this at a beauty supply store for about three or four dollars i'm not really sure they come in different colors they come in black you could also go to the extent of getting the whole bedspread that sat but this is a really cheap solution i thought it was going to be expensive i was going to go somewhere like bed bath and beyond and things like that where they sell pillowcases but i found this at a local beauty supply store thank god it's only three or four dollars and they come in different colors also so that's my favorite to go to bed with. Also, you're going to need a toothbrush. Now you say, why the hell would you need a toothbrush? This is the best tool to slick down your edges. Say when you're, when you're using like your gel or anything or style, whatever style you do, you want to slick down your edges, toothbrush is the best thing you could use. This is an old trick from like years ago. I still use it now and when I was relaxed. Just to slip down the edges, and you know, back in the day, you used to pull out the baby hair and act like you know, you know, just it's real good to target the edges, and so you don't need that. It's optional, you don't really need it, but also, this is optional too a shower cap because you know, when you set your styles, the humidity from like a nice hot shower would um, make your hair frizz out, go limp. Things like that. So you need to invest. This shower cap is 
crap. But invest in a good shower cap so that, you know, you can keep your styles for a long period of time. Also, what you would need is, like, perm rods, flexi rods, anything to make your relaxed ends curl. Because, let me tell you, it's way easier to blend your relaxed ends with your curly roots than trying to straighten out your hair to match your relaxed ends because it's just going to be so much trouble, especially in certain weather. When it's hot in the summertime, your hair's going to revert back. When you get in the shower, your hair's going to revert back. Any type of rain, humidity, your hair is just going to... Go back to this curly state and you're going to have these straight ends. And applying too much heat to your hair is not good, especially when you're transitioning. Because the point where the relaxed ends and your new growth meet is very, very weak. So heat is already too much for your fragile hair. So you want to get things that make your relaxed end curl. You can do wet sets with these flexi rods. You can set your twists, your braids on the flexi rods. Also the perm rods, also when I used to do my twist and curl, I would just set it on the end so they could so they could curl up, set, um, set them overnight and take them out in the morning and I have a nice little spiral. Now you can get these at a beauty supply store. Let me show you a braid. They come in different sizes so you can choose which size curl you want. See, they come in, in different, different sizes and in different colors. And um, you can find it at the beauty supply store. They're real cheap. You get to choose what type of curl you want with these. Girls who are still natural also use these. I haven't used these in a long time, but they really, when I was transitioning, they really, really helped. And these also come in different sizes. It's like five of them for like one or two dollars. I know the price went up a little bit but yeah you just want to find things that make your hair curl up instead of trying to straighten your whole hair so yeah those are the most basic things you will need and um, stay tuned for the next part of this series yes invest in one of these please